is My Dot NA Cars, the show where we discuss everything cars from test drives, trailers, whatever it is. If it's got something to do with cars, trust me, we'll definitely be on there. Now, on today's episode, we're going to be doing something a little different. I mean, Passenger Princess has done a lot, but one thing I still haven't done is gone camping. And today, we're here at Iron Man 4x4 Center, and we're going to be shopping around for a few camping accessories. Actually, my correction, glamping accessories because you know passenger princess have has to do everything with a little bit of elegance so follow me let's see what we can find Please walk responsibly. I did not. Um. Now in the world of cars, an interesting story indeed. A flying car prototype just got an airworthiness certificate from the FAA. The Federal Aviation Administration has certified for testing a vehicle that a California startup describes as a flying car, the first fully electric vehicle that can both fly and travel on roads to receive U.S. government approval. Aleph Automotive said that its vehicle slash aircraft, dubbed the Model A, is the first flying vehicle that is drivable on public roads and able to park like a normal car. It also has vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. It apparently will be able to carry one or two occupants and will have a road range of 200 miles and a flying range of 110 miles. The company expects to sell the vehicle for $300,000 each with the first delivery by projected for the end of 2025. The FAA confirmed that it has issued the company a special airworthiness certificate allowing for limited purposes that include exhibition, research and development. Numerous companies are working on all electric VTOLs, which stands for vehicle takeoff and landing aircraft. The FAA said that Aleph is not the first aircraft of its kind to get a special airworthiness certificate. However, Aleph noted that its vehicle is different because of its ability to function both on roads and in the air to appear like a normal car and to park in a normal parking space. Well, that is interesting indeed, and if it lands in Namibia, we will definitely be taking it out for a spin. That's it for news today, but stick around, we'll be back with my dot NA cars after the break. Please, put on your safety belt, sir. It's very important for your life. Uh, the seatbelt doesn't make me drive comfortably. That's better. Please wear your seatbelt. I did not. Well, it seems your passenger princess does enjoy a little bit of an adventure and today we are here at Ironman 4x4 and of course we are going to be talking accessories but most importantly we're going to be talking camping gear for your car and I'm joined by Chris who is a retail manager. How are you doing today? I'm great, thanks. Thank How are you, you guys? Thank you for having us. Oh, great, thanks. It's good to have you guys here. All right, so talk to us a little bit about the history of the company, how you guys started, and a little bit about that, yes. Yes, okay, so uh, officially we started out as accessory fitment center, and uh, we, came, we became a part of Pupkovic's, uh, almost, uh, Pupkovic Motors almost 10 years ago. And then in 2018, we became the um, platinum dealer for Ironman 4x4. 
Yes, yes, awesome. So what are some of the brands that you stock here? Okay, so on the AFC part of the business, um, we do most accessories like our stuff, your normal chrome accessories like your chrome roll bars, chrome nudge bars, styling bars, there's tonia covers. We also do window tinting from laminate and then there's rubberizing. We also do front runner roof racks, all the front runner accessories that come together with the roof racks. Um, then we also do DAC outdoor. Um, from DAC outdoor you get fridges, there's spacers, there's extended shackles. And then, of course, there's the Ironman side of the business. So Ironman has a very extensive uh, f uh, range of, of, of 4x4 products. You get the hardware uh, type of accessories from Ironman, which is your bumpers, your winches, suspensions. Um, and then you get the lifestyle part of Ironman as well, which is like the camping chairs that we are sitting in, camping lights and tents and all that, yes. I like that you brought in the camping aspect because there is quite a bit to look at here. I mean, we've seen tents, like you're saying, camping chairs and all of that. So talk to us about some of the more popular products. Like, what is your best-selling product? Okay, so our best-selling product, I have to say, um, definitely camping fridges. Um, so we're doing quite well with camping fridges at this stage. Um, I mean, if you're going camping and uh, you're standing at a spot for more than two days, you'll definitely need cold drinks and you need to keep the food and your beverages and stuff cold. So our camping fridges are doing good. Um, and then also like the camping chairs, they're also doing good. We also do sell sleeping bags from Ironman, which also do quite good. Um, yeah. Nice. Okay, and some of the tents. I see some huge ones there on top of a canopy. Talk to us about that. Like just a brief um, description. Yeah, so uh, we also have quite a range of the rooftop tents available. Um, so we do the Swift 1400 from Iron Man, um, which is a clamshell design. Mm -hmm. um, and we also do a similar one um, from DAC Outdoor, uh, which is a bit more reasonably priced. And then we also do the Gobi X Tankwa tent. So all of them are basically the clamshell design tent, uh, which is uh, about 1.4 in width and 2.4 in length. And uh, yeah, they basically sleep two people. And then we also have the Iron Man swag tents. So the swag tent is the one that you use uh, um, on the ground. On the ground. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad that you <laughs> described it to me in layman's Just terms because <laughs> I'm not a camper. I'd say probably a glamper, okay. but yeah. camping, not yeah. really myself, but I'm willing to try it. Yeah. I mean, of course, yeah. if I can have a fridge yeah. and if I could have a nice place to sleep, yeah. hopefully not on the ground. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's the nice thing about visiting our shop. So you can see what's available. And uh, I mean, there's so many different available uh, camping products and accessories that can make your camping experience so much better. Yes. And there's a little bit of, of something for everybody. Exactly. It makes it easier and exactly. it makes, I, I guess, the experience fun. Yes, definitely. Uh, we've been traveling to uh, Damaraland and Kakaland uh, about two months ago, and uh, we also did uh, wild camping next to the Hua Prava. Okay. Um, so I also just packed everything, all the food and all the beverages um, in my fridge and on my vehicle uh, at my tent. Um, also, like I mentioned, we sell front runner. They also do like a pop up tent. Okay. So that's a tent that sleeps two people, but it folds up uh, flat Compact. and then. Compact. Yeah, nice. basically, when you unfold it, it folds up on itself. You see, I like something like that yes. because I'm not good with instructions. You can give me a list of detailed <laughs> yeah. instructions. So if I can just pull it up and. Yeah. I it like basically, that. <laughs> yeah, basically uh, yeah, pitches itself. That is amazing. Yes. So with the fitment center, yes. basically if I buy something here, I can also get it done at the fitment center. Exactly. So we do fitments as well. Our workshop is situated in the same uh, premises that we are. And uh, all the accessories that we sell, we do, uh, we do the fitment thereof as well. That is amazing. So it's basically a one-stop shop. Exactly. It's a one-stop shop. When you come in, you, uh, you can shop around. We can make a quote. We can discuss your needs, what you want. And then uh, we can make a booking for you. You can book in your vehicle. We can have it, we can have it fitted for you. And just briefly talk to me about, I see there's a net bank where you can secure your parts. Yes. Um, so uh, we've recently partnered with NetBank. So um, it's possible now to uh, have your accessories uh, uh, financed. So it's part of their lifestyle range. So we do a quotation. We send everything, all the documents that's needed through to the bank at NetBank. And uh, we can see uh, how we can structure the deal and see if we can finance uh, accessories. Because most of the time, uh, if people want like a pumper or a canopy and a suspension, it's just too much uh, uh, for them at once. So with the financing, it enables them to, uh, to do everything at once. 
Oh, nice. Yes. Again, convenience. Yes, definitely. And it's all about convenience. It's all about making it easier and better, more accessible definitely. to the customer. Yes, definitely. Awesome. Thank yes. you so much, Chris. Just one thing um, yes. that I wanted to mention when we spoke about products, we recently also, uh, this week, actually received the EcoFlow products. Okay. So uh, while we were discussing camping, the EcoFlow products, uh, it's basically a, a portable power unit, a portable nice. uh, power bank. So there's different units available. Uh, we currently have the River 2 and the Delta 2 in stock. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's basically a portable battery storage unit that you can use to either charge your camera equipment or your cell phones. You can, uh, on the River, uh, sorry, on the Delta unit, you can actually use a kettle as well. Wow. And it's, uh, it's, yeah, you can work with it on 12 volt appliances mm -hmm. and 220 appliances. Again, it's all to make my camping experience a little easier because I, I, I do camping light. I can't, I can't do, you know, camping heavy. <laughs> that will definitely make your camping experience much more convenient. It will definitely make much my camping more convenient. experience yes. much more convenient, yes. softer, like the princess that I am. Definitely. So any plans, uh, any so future plans? So you need plans? one. I definitely need one. I'll make a quote for you. <laughs> <laughs> so any future plans for the company? Anything you're looking forward to? Uh, um, yeah, well, um, we're quite busy at this stage, um, so um, which we're very glad for and uh, thankful for. Um, uh, we've recently seen with the tourists uh, and the rentals, there's been a, a spike in the tourism mm -hmm. um, department or in the sector. Um, so I'm just urging all the clients that uh, if they want to do something on their vehicle, or they, if they have to, uh, uh, if they want to fit accessories, that they uh, reach out to us uh, well in advance and do their planning carefully in order to avoid disappointment because uh, we're working with bookings at this stage. Okay. But we welcome everyone. Uh, we want them to uh, come to our shop, have a look, and then, yeah, we can see how we can assist them. See what best works for you. Yes. And any specials that you're currently running at this point? Yeah, we do have a, a few specials that we're running um, from Ironman and from AFC. I don't want to say too much. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, they can come in and see for themselves. <laughs> exactly. There's definitely a, a few lines, as I said, from AFC and from Ironman available this month. So uh, very reasonably priced uh, products. So I'm inviting the customers, please come in and have a look. And have then, a look, see what works best for you, yes. what you enjoy. And who knows, if you're a compulsive shopper like me, you'll probably see something like, hey, I, I feel like I need that. <laughs> just need to swipe. <laughs> just need to swipe, I mean, just close your eyes yes. and swipe. <laughs> it's simple. Thank yes. you so much, Chris, no. for uh, allowing us in and giving us a little bit of insight and telling us all about the company. No, thank you guys, appreciate it. Thank awesome. you for the opportunity. Awesome, stick around, we'll be back with more cars after this break. Please adhere to the speed limit. I did not. Okay, so I'm standing at the EcoFlow River 2. Um, it's a 1800 watt output uh, portable power bank. Uh, you have your USB charging ports here in the front. You also have a seat type charger. And then, let me just turn it around. You also have your 220 uh, three point and your two point uh, power outputs. And then you also have your 12 volt uh, Hella female uh, port over here. So, like I said, you can basically charge any appliance on this thing. Um, it's a 1800 watts output. Uh, it charges up to 80% in uh, less than an hour. Wow. Um, it's okay. a lithium ion battery. So, yeah, it's a perfect uh, solution for your camping setup if you want. You can also, like, use a kettle on this, like I said, 12 volt or 20 volt. Uh, and how heavy volt. is this? You can pick it up. Oh, okay. It's not that heavy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so what comes in the box? What do we get in the box upon unboxing? So when you unbox, you basically get a portable power unit and then you get a cable to charge it. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yes. And here, what so do we have here? So what we have here is the River 2. So this is basically a 350 watt output. So this is just a smaller version of the Delta. And you also have the uh, 220 volt, three point and two point outputs and your 12 volt and uh, yeah that's just basically just more for like camera batteries okay. your cell phone batteries and stuff like that 
for camping light like me. Camping light, <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, Chris, for telling us about this. And, you know, for giving me a bit of a workout. Oh, this is actually quite light. Yeah. This is actually yeah, really yeah. Like light. Like I said, it's, it's a perfect solution. Like, if you're going... Also, uh, I know the guys has been using them extensively when they're going on like the desert dash. Mm. Um, like if you have an event like that and you're traveling from one point to the, another point, um, these things are uh, excellent for charging like your batteries for your uh, camping lights and cell phones and cameras and everything. So there you have it, folks. I mean, here it makes your camping experience a little more fantastic and a little more princess-like if you are a princess <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <gasps> These are actually cool. This is an NL Legacy and it's a 55 litre and I have to say you do have quite a bit of storage space. It's basically having a refrigerator. It's not just, you know, for camping. You could even use this in your home, I would say. Well, because we are glamping today, of course we have to talk tents. Now, I may have a little bit of a problem climbing on top of the ones that are assembled on top of the canopy, but this one right here on the ground seems to be no problem, and it seems as though it can fit two people, so that's more than enough space for me to sleep around and kick people in my sleep. So let's take a look at how big it actually is on the inside. Oh my goodness, it is quite spacious and it is so comfortable in here. I have to say, if I fall asleep in this tent, that is it for the episode. Don't expect anything more from me because this is so cozy and it's so comfortable. And oh my goodness, I can totally see myself camping. Well, if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to take a little bit of a nap because, like I said, it is super cozy and comfortable in here. So, I'll just zip that up. And I will see you on the flip side. As you can see here this is actually what the tent would look like if it was installed on your canopy and you know what my favorite thing is this little spice rack that we can display all our spices it just makes everything so convenient and it basically gives you a home away from home so I would definitely give this a 10 out of 10 passenger princess approves how's it chief how is more give me a full tank because change your tires, they are worn out. Ah, you know what? I'll change it next month, it's fine. Please check your tires. I did not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be going down for a little nap. I'll see you on the flip side. Now, far 
Charles, explain to us what is happening here. I see a car propped up. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> okay, this car is on for wheel alignment. Right? Okay. So, um, what it does is right now it's putting the targets on. Okay, right? so these are the targets. This, this, machine, this little panel here is yes. a target for the wheel alignment. It connects to those little uh, 3D cameras over there. Oh, so cool. what he's going to do is once he puts all the targets on, he's going to go on to the, to the computer, mm -hmm. he's going to check um, the model and the make and the, the year model, and then he's going to uh, check the adjustments. Mm -hmm. Once he checks the adjustments, he's going to um, set the car to that adjustment. Okay. Then he's going to connect these targets to the 3D camera to see if they match. Oh. If they match, they are set, you are done. Okay. If not, He's going to keep adjusting until, until it's just right. Exactly, so until he gets there. just to briefly bring you back, the machine already has all of this information yeah, yeah, on yeah. the car and the make. From the car, from the make, all of them. So it basically communicates to the car computer? Yes. In a, oh, that is it connects awesome. With these, um, it connects with these things to say, okay, you are on point or no, you are off point. Okay. And, and then, then we need to adjust everything. Yes. So the advantages of wheel alignment is, mm -hmm. number one, most important, they um, help you with your tire life. So when wheel alignment is out, the tire eats unevenly. Okay. So that shortens the lifespan of your tire. Of your tire. Whereas, so whereas when it's balanced, yes. the longer the longer it lasts, wheel will last Yes, because it's eating equally. I see. And number two, that makes a lot of sense. Yes. And then number two, obviously, when you're on a long road journey, mm -hmm. you don't want to be holding the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. You, you need to everything to be perfectly balanced. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Awesome. Well, I learned so much today and I have to say, I guess our viewers also learned so much. So yep. thank you so much for us, Anytime. for giving me insight and for telling me everything that I need to know, showing me cool things. I would actually want to see the process on the computer though, yeah, like how it works. He's busy actually with it Can right we? now. He's picking the, the, the year model and Okay, awesome. Yeah, so they, these are the specs it's giving out now and he's checking which one to pick okay. and, and the process going forward. So this is basically... Yeah, so so now the first part he's going to do is check the steering wheel. So the steering wheel seems straight, but he has to go. Mm -hmm. He has to go himself and physically do it because it has to sit in afterwards. You know? Okay. Yeah. It's a bit complicated. Takes a bit of practice. Takes a bit of practice. Not a bit, a lot of practice oh. and a lot of knowledge. Um, myself, I struggle with it, I'll be honest. <laughs> This is not my forte. Uh -huh. But everything else, you're good. I'm good. I'm, I, I, can, I can do these things, but I prefer not You to. prefer not to. Because I'm very bad at it. No, you know what they but say. I understand it. I know how it goes. If so happen somebody were fall ill or something and I don't have a choice. You could still do it. I could do it. Okay, so what are these numbers? So now, um, you're checking the degrees left and right. Okay. Of the, of the steering wheel. Okay. So he's not yet at the camber or the caster. It's just with the steering wheel part. Remember when I said um, you would like the steering wheel to be straight? straight? Yes. That's the first part he's doing. So I as you can see, see, as he turns, it's also showing to your right degrees and to your left degrees. And that's what the... With the cameras. The, yes. That they are is picking amazing. it up. amazing. So he's actually checking from here. Mm -hmm. When the thing says stop, then he stops. He stops. You see, now he's locking it in. Oh. And he's going to lock it like that. While he sets the cambers, the casters, and the tow in so that when he does set them, the steering wheel also stays straight. That is amazing. You know, we never actually know that this is everything that needs to go into making sure your tires are aligned well and properly yeah. and that you are safe on the road. So please do bring your car here to Tire Rank because you've just seen how thorough they are with the whole process. No shortcuts here. Everything is to the point. Thank you so much for us for Pleasure. letting me in and you know for bringing me into your workshop Pleasure and anytime. showing me all these amazing things. Pleasure Until anytime. next time, please do say goodbye to the camera. Bye. <laughs>
Welcome to What's Cooking, where culinary passion meets expert insights. Somebody must really want to cook and want to cook good food. Immerse yourself in the bustling world of professional kitchens as top chefs create mouthwatering dishes. Join us for in-depth interviews as our host explores the experiences and expertise of our guest chefs. Don't miss out. Tune in to What's Cooking on NTV every Friday at 2100 hours and let the culinary adventure begin. Well, that brings us to the end of yet another exciting episode of My.NACast. Thank you so much for joining us. You can catch us the same time you caught us today. That is DSTV Channel 285, Go TV Channel 25 every Thursday at 9 p.m. on NTV and at 7 p.m. on all Namibia Media Holdings platforms. On that note, from your favorite passenger princess, it's all my love, all my light, and ciao!